Good morning, everyone, to our viewers from the different schools in Cluster 6 Division of Davao City. Of course, our courtesy to our school's division superintendent, Reynaldo M. Galiena, CESO 5, our ASDS's Dr. Basilio Manay Jr., CESE, and Dr. Emma Campordondo, CES CESE, our division chiefs, program supervisors, our Cluster 6 PSDS, Dr. Janito Ogalan, along with his Cluster 6 powerhouse, the different school heads of Cluster 6. Once again, good morning to everyone. I am Leches Picabales, one of your hosts for today. And good morning to my partner host for today, Ma'am Ira de los Reyes. Ma'am? Yes, good morning, Sir Jazz, and to our live viewers for today. By the way, we are streaming live on our official Facebook page and YouTube channel. So please like and subscribe. That's Cluster 6 News Center. So once again, we welcome you to the third day of our Cluster 6 Training of Trainers on the Learning Management System. Again. Yes, Sir Jazz? Uh, well, ma'am, before we form uh, formally begin, um, um, again, nangungusta kami sa mga lahat ng mga nasa lanta ng baka kagabi. Sana ay naging maayos sa kayo ngayon at naway maging maganda rin ang ating panahon sa araw na ito. Okay po? Yes, sir, Jess. That's right. So, uh, before we formally begin, we would like to remind everyone to register for today's session using the attendance link that is posted on your screens right now. And reminders, um, the official list of attendance is only valid at the start of the stream. So yung mga nakapag-attendance po before tayo nakapagsimula, it will be considered invalid. And uh, para dyan, kailangan yung mag-attendance ulit. Maraming salamat po. That's right, Sir Jazz. So again, ang ating official list po, kung sinong gustong manalo ng ating 100 peso load, ay dapat mag-register po tayo ulit. So, Sir Jazz, how's our quick count? Oh, well, yes, Ma'am Ira. Now I can see a lot of viewers are coming up on our screen. By the way, to all our viewers, good morning. You can type in your greetings or shout outs, and hopefully we could read them later on. That's right, Sir Jazz. At this moment, let us witness our Makabayan song and put ourselves in the presence of our God in prayer. Come! 
Again, th um, thank you, uh, Los Amigos National High School and Ula National High School. All right, um, now we will be having uh, a few uh, teachers to share their insights from yesterday's session. But before anything else, uh, we, uh, we would like to hear some words of wisdom and inspiration from, from Sir Basilio P. Manai, Jr. Sir, good morning. 
Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. To your TSDS, Dr. Janito Galan. To all the school heads of Cluster 6. And to all the participants to this learning management system to webinar. My warmest felicitation to everybody. As we embrace with the new normal today, I know that teachers uh, are called to be more creative and more productive because more challenges are bestowed on our shoulders. Uh, with all the learning materials that we are producing to and giving to all the students, we make it a point that the learning competencies that the students must learn must really be learned by the, the students. So I believe that Cluster 6 teachers with your uh, with your um, creativity, with all your hard work, I know that we can be able to do this despite and in spite of the situation that we are besetting these days. So to the teachers, I am calling you to be more productive, to please listen carefully to the webinar. And if you have some questions, make it a point that you have to ask uh, so that there will be no stones unturned. If you have some clouds of doubts, we have mga trainers who are very well versed who can answer all your queries. And uh, I know that they can be able to help everybody in all your queries. To the school heads, we need your support, especially in the production of the materials of the modules. 30% uh, of your MOE must be allotted for the production of the, the learning materials that the students, so that everybody, all the students in your school, all the students in your class, cluster will be able to avail all the modules. Couple with the modules, I know that there is still a need for you to follow up to make it a point that the competencies that they ought to learn must really be learned. So dito po natin ngayon makikita ang pagiging tunay na teacher natin sa ating hard work and dedication sa ating sinumpaang tungkulin that is to make every citizen, every learning learner a productive citizen of the country. To the training management team, uh, I am very impressed with how you are uh, bringing this training. Actually, mura kong nasa studio, no? Uh, if you can only notice, uh, the room here is full of people na talagang every individual has his own work. Just to make it a point that this webinar will really be successful. Uh, for everybody to learn. Again, to the school heads, more cooperation from you. Please guide your teachers. Do not forget to always monitor whether they are doing the right track. And on the same wise, teachers, please make it a point also that uh, you also monitor the progress of your students, especially modular and if students find it hard to even understand the, the modules so you need they they need more your intervention so that they can really understand i know that it takes a village to educate a child we also have our parents who will be helping us in this in this uh, endeavor that we are taking today so to all the participants, uh, maximize your participation here. Always uh, make it a point to listen so that you will not be having questions. Do not ask questions to those persons who are not listening. Kay duhan na mo bili makabalo, di makatubag. So ask questions to those who are listening and uh, to those who are really present physically and emotionally and mentally. So to everybody, to the leadership of Dr. Jan Galan and to all the school heads, 
my congratulations, my salute to everybody. So my last message to everybody is to always keep yourself safe. So keep away from sickness and boost your immune system. Bawal magkasakit sa panahon ito. Good luck everybody. God bless us all. Again, sir, uh, thank you for those uh, wonderful words of encouragement. Again, that was Dr. Basilio P. Manai Jr., our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Now, uh, bago, bago tayo tumako sa ating mga activities, shout out muna tayo sa ilan natin mga viewers. First off, we have Melody Julia Avila. Good morning, Cluster 6. Good morning din po, ma'am. Also, we have Marifi Selgas Kagoko, Remoticado. Shout out po sa lahat ng teachers ng Los Amigos National High School, lalo na sa aming napaka-energetic na principal, Raul A. Cabulogan, at sa aming dating butihing principal, Yolando A. Cortez. Ma'am, baka may, may ano pa dyan, may mga shout outs yes, pa meron po. pa nga Sir Jazz from Marilu Bukog. Good morning po from Ohilay National High School. Good luck, Ma'am Irish of Math Department. Ayan. Okay, baka may iba pa. Uh, um, again, from Ma'am Melody Jiraya Villa, nabasa ko na to kanina. But again, let's try to read it out. Good morning daw po. And from Ma'am Alma Labastida, Ma'am, pakibasa po. Yes, sir. We have Ma'am Alma Labastida. She's saying good morning. Hello, teachers of Bago Oshero High School. Ayan. Hello po. So I guess we are now ready for the next part. We are now going to introduce a few teachers to share their insights from yesterday's session. So who do we have, Sir Jazz? Well, yes, Ma'am Ira, we have first um, Ma'am Mason L. Romero uh, for the Integrated School, Ma'am Julie Ann Lumboy for Junior High School, and Joseph Andrew Sabido of Senior High School. We'll start first with Ma'am Mason L. Romero. Good morning to all our fellow teachers and teachers of New Valencia Integrated School. To all school heads, especially to our very own school head, Mr. Antonio Dicitor, Cluster 6 participants, and most especially to our PSDS, Dr. Janito Galan, good morning once again. I am Mason L. Romero from New Valencia Integrated School, and I will be sharing my insights about MELCs, the most essential learning competencies. On the aspects of capacity building to teachers and school leaders, our region, which is Region 11, ensures all teachers are not just intended to be resilient, adaptable, and able to manage resource and technological literacy, but most specifically in the delivery of K-12 basic education curriculum. It is the primary goal to orient teachers and educational leaders that MELCs and the learning management system help us to adapt the curriculum to a useful opportunity that will pave the way into a meaningful process. We also have learning competencies which refer to the knowledge, understanding, skills, and attitudes that students need to demonstrate in every lesson or learning activity. And the essential learning competencies of it is to ensure students need and to focus instruction in the most essential and indispensable competencies and learners must acquire. And to sum up, the MELCs were provided by the Department of Education as a primary reference of all schools, schools division offices, and regional offices in determining and implementing learning delivery approaches that are suited to the local context and diversity of learners while adapting to the challenges posed by the pandemic, which is COVID-19. Thank you so much. That's all, and good morning once again. Applaud.
A pleasant morning to all the teachers of Cluster 6, especially to the school heads, to my very enthusiastic principal, Mary Ann B. Ongkoy, and to our PSDS Dr. Junito Ogalan. I'm Janeline T. Pondok, a senior high school teacher of Biao National High School, and I'm here to give insights of what have transpired of our day two training of trainers on learning management system. Yesterday's session was something new to all of us. We learned how the most essential learning competencies was drawn out from the original learning competencies on our curriculum guide. The transformation from the learning competencies to the most essential learning competencies was due to the determining factor, endurance. We know that a learning competencies satisfies endurance criterion, each of which must remain with the learners long after test. Otherwise, it is not essential. We also learned that there were actions to be taken, retained, merged, rephrased, and dropped. That's why learning competencies were lessened and become most essential learning competencies. It's good that through this, we are able to focus only to the learning competencies that will be used in real life setting. Absolutely, mastery can be achieved because of the streamed competencies that are essential to life. Though this new normal education setting is difficult, let us be reminded that difficulties mastered are opportunities won. Thank you very much and have a good day, everyone. The horrors and challenges brought by this COVID-19 pandemic can never stop our vision and mission in continuing the delivery of quality education to all our learners. To our school's Division Superintendent, Dr. Reynaldo M. Hiliena, CESO 5, to our dynamic and supportive Cluster 6 Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Janito Ogalan, to our energetic school heads and principals of Cluster 6, especially to Mr. Rodrigo J. Cayanong of Emilio J. Estipona National High School, teachers, frontliners, career and education advocates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. The glimpse of our most essential learning competencies made us understand deeply our significant role as educators and made us appreciate the very essence of education in nation building and progress. The reinvention of our curriculum is one of the best moves of the Department of Education in facing and responding to this crisis. The mapping of the essential and desirable learning competencies, the identification of the prerequisite knowledge and skills needed to prepare students for essential learning competencies, and the analysis of interconnectedness of prerequisite knowledge and skills among the learning competencies for each subject area were among the processes of identifying the most essential learning competencies. As we further our mission as educators and advocates, let us not forget to align, connect, and apply our core values in the very essence of this situation. Bilang isa po sa tagapagtaguyod ng sulong edukalidad, ramdam ko ang bigat at takot natin sa mga panahong ito. But let us remember the words of our DepEd Secretary, Yunor Magdoles Briones, that education cannot wait. The children cannot wait. We need to find ways for learning to continue. 
just like one of the criteria of MELC's or MELC's endurance. Let us endure. Let us remain as one in this mission. Once again, this is Joseph Andrew Lau Sabido of Emilio J. Estepona National High School saying, Mabuhay, and we are blessed. Yes, for that. Once again, thank you, Ma'am Mason L. Romero for the Integrated School, Ma'am Janelle Lynn Bondok, CESE, for the Junior High School, and Sir Joseph Andros Apido for the Senior High School. Ma'am? Yes, thank you, teachers. Once again, it is indeed very true that difficulties mastered are opportunities won. I am. So at this moment, I know that you all want to know what shall we have for today's session. And to give us a glimpse of today's activity, may we have one of Cluster 6 Powerhouse of School Heads, Sir Raul A. Cabilogan of Los Amigos National High School. To our schools, Division Superintendent Renaldo M. Guillena, of 5, our two Assistant Schools Division Superintendents, Ma'am Emma Camporidondo, and Sir Basilio E. Manaay Jr. Sese, which is in the studio today, Dr. Teresita Del Valle, the SDO the Chief, and Dr. Alma Sifra, the CID Chief. Our cluster head and PSDS of cluster six with full of dynamism and where excellence is his virtue, Dr. Janito Ogalan. Mga magigiting at magagaling na school heads of the Cluster 6 secondary schools. And let me also honor the new members of the Cluster 6 team, the Ula National High School, the Bago Sierra High National High School, uh, the Matina Biao and the Integrated Schools, um, the Carmen, the New Valencia, Bartolome, and Balderas. The always on the go TWG of the Cluster 6 online training on learning management system. I salute you all. And sa among mga pinanga, ug dilipud palupik na mga teachers of Cluster 6. And to all watching there, maayong butag kaninyong tanan. We are already halfway on our webinar. Hope they're still with us, attentive, and the fire still there. I am certain that you are started to burn out due to successive and ending webinar attendance since April, which was conducted by our department with other book, private book companies and NGOs. Adding to that is the preparation for the opening of classes. Let me remind you that we should preserve our energy and make ourselves healthy all the time so that when the opening of classes come, we are still have the freshness the enthusiasm to deal with our clientels, our students and parents. Be selective and choose what is most needed for this time and for the modality that will be employed by our respective schools. We are all preparing for the opening of classes for which all of us choose the printed modular learning modality except for mental comprehensive high school with an addition of online learning modality. My dear teacher participants, the past two days of the webinar shared about learning management system and the walkthrough of MELTS with the house and why of it. Due to pandemic, the need to lessen the learning competences is necessary to suit up for this challenging time and quality education will still be delivered. LMS is now introduced as one of the platforms to be used for the new normal classroom, the virtual classroom. Today, the application of it will be simulated by the selected teachers of the Cluster 6, together with their students and pupils from kinder to grade 12. Yes, it's new, and eventually, learning deliveries will be going to that direction, to virtual classroom. 
This was already applied by some universities and known private schools in the in the Philippine public school setting. Tili pa unta ni karon, but the pandemic hastened the application of online learning. This approach for most of the millennials would be no sweat, but those whose age bracket we call myelinia na. Those who have started to have wrinkles consider this as challenging. At mas matindi ito, yung mga wailinya na sa head, yung no hair strands at all. It's like climbing on the steep mountain. Pero I'm sure we can still overcome on this. It might be easy or not easy, but we need to embrace because that's the trend of our world today. Alvin Tuffler says that the illiterate of 21st century are not those who cannot read and write, but those who do not know how to learn, unlearn, and relearn. Just like us, in order to be in pace with the digital world, we need also to learn, unlearn, and relearn. And those who can adapt with the digital transformation will have the edge and more competitive. I encourage those my linea and my linea to embrace this with, with courage. Do not be afraid for the programs or files to be de deleted because it is from there that we will learn more. And challenge to be creative and resourceful as what Sir Basilio Mana I said a while ago. And let that no cluster six will be left behind. And before I end, let me pick on one of the conversation in Los Amigos group chat during their webinar for English and Filipino teachers last week. Sabi ni Ma'am A, very stressful, but we get a lot of learnings and new strategies which we can apply in this new normal. So my dear participants, teacher participants, I, as I reflect on this, that in spite of her difficulties to cope up to what is new, there's still the joy and passion to learn on the unfamiliar. Hope that same attitude that we will have so that besides stressful, then we will always, uh, there is always an eagerness to learn, not for, own, not for our own benefits, but for those hungry minds waiting to be fed with our loving and unselfish knowledge. And during the first session, I asked Ma'am Rio, a teacher of Los Amigos National High School, Ma'am, kumusta po ang LMS? She replied, Lisod ka ay, sir. But what amazed me, because she said it with a smile. I was delighted because she still uh, have to face the difficulties with joy. Sana gadon din po tayo, because it is a grace to face difficult situation with joyful and grateful heart. And lastly, with all those unfamiliarities and uncertainties, and another that challenge on the reproduction of the learning modules, I will say, worry not, because according to Cory Ten Boom, worrying does not empty tomorrow of its troubles, it will just empty today of its strength. God bless to the simulators, to the TWG, to the teacher participants, and to all of us. To God be the glory. Okay, once again, okay. Sir, uh, sir, thank you for that clear and concise overview. Uh, overview. Sabi nga ni Sir, may linya o walang linya, we have to embrace teaching by heart, especially in these trying times. Once again, thank you, Sir Raul Kabilogan, sir. And now, this time, uh, may we call on doc may we call on Dr. Darwin Z. Polito for, rec uh, for the recognition of our top five day 2 p.m. watch advocates. Sir, good morning. Sir Jazz, magandang umaga sa lahat. Magandang umaga sa mga guru ng Cluster 6. Uh, ngayon ay pinagdiriwang natin ang buwan ng wika kaya't nais kong batihin ng lahat ng mga guru lalong-lalo na ang mga guru na tuturo sa asignaturang Pilipino lalong-lalo na ang mga guru sa senior high school sa mental comprehensive na sina 
Ma'am Rio Dacuy, uh, Montesilio Dacuyan at si Ma'am uh, Queen Gladys Fiel. Okay? Kahit sa gitna ng pandemya, patuloy natin itaas ang bandirang Pilipino sa mamamagitan ng uh, pagmamahal sa wikang Pilipino saan man tayo ng panig ng mundo makakarati. Okay? So ngayon, let us try to recognize the watch advocates for the PM session yesterday. So here are the names. Okay, we have the watch awardees from Los Amigos National High School. Congratulations to Cherry Macy Bioso. And from Ocasano Hilay National High School, we have Ma'am Eunice R. Hinteles. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, again, once again, thank you, sir, for uh, recognizing our top five or top two watch advocates. And I do believe um, Sir Darwin Zipolidi will also um, express his thoughts about the evaluation, I guess. Okay, yes, sir, yes. So this time, we will be having our evaluation result for yesterday's session. <laughs> So let's start with on the session. I hope um, the data is clear on your screen. So let's start with on the session. So the average rating here is uh, 3.44. If you have noticed, there is an increase of the value and still in excellent. Next we have, okay. Uh, but with regards to the session, uh, the participants believe that we still have to improve our, how do we start, uh, that we should, we should start on time. Okay, so we will take on that matter. On the facilitator side, so again, uh, the participants agreed that the, uh, we have a rating of 3.51, still excellent. On the virtual learning environment, okay, so uh, the first session, it was very good, but th uh, yesterday's session, uh, participants believe uh, that uh, we are, uh, it is already in excellent, okay, with a numerical rating of 3.33. And if you have noticed, on the first session, we have issues on uh, audio reception, the video feeds, the internet connection and uh, the buffering but those things were addressed by our technical team although still in a very good uh, in a very good rating next we have the program management team so we have the numerical value of 3.56 so still excellent in summary, we have an overall rating of 3.46, still excellent. So thank you, participants. And now uh, we will have the uh, suggestions and the comments from our participants. So you were asked, what will you do differently in your work because of your learning? So it says here, I will refer to the milks. In creating learning activity sheets, self-learning modules, and other instructional materials. And we have also here the different uh, things that our participants have mentioned with regards to time management. So please start on time and open the attendance link on time. So there is, uh, if you have noticed uh, the result, no, meron talagang uh, connection, no, yung mga sinasabi ng ating participants. And of course, the MELT's relevance. So the day two webinar is very relevant for us teachers. In order to know which part are we going to adjust, improve, and modify, okay? It is more on knowing and loving our learners much despite the pandemic. Hashtag Sulong Idukalidad. Again, issues on inter internet connectivity as well as an audio-video presentation are still there. But, of course, medyo uh, na, na bibigyan na yan ng mga solusyon, okay? Base sa mga sinasabi ng ating participants. And of course, we have the appreciation from our participants. The people behind and front the scenes are working their best to deliver as best as they can. Although they are tired, no sleep, and hungry, thanks for your sacrifices just to share, share your knowledge to us. Love the intermission numbers, the dance, and the host too. Thank you so much. 
And of course, good internet connectivity today and the videos are very clear. Presentations are well prepared. Good job, Cluster 6, and God bless. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng ating mga participants. And good morning. Well, sir, again, thank you, sir, for um, giving those evaluation updates and as well as recognizing our watch advocates. And again, para sa lahat ng ating mga manonood, kung maaari lamang po, uh, um, sagutin natin na maayos yung ating mga evaluation links kasi po ito yung nakakatulong din. Hindi lang para sa amin, kundi para rin sa inyong lahat. Okay lang po ba yun? Okay, um, ngayon, tingnan natin yung ilan sa mga shoutouts ng ating ilang mga viewers. First off, we have from Ma'am Cosette Navales. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng nanonood. Pabati po ng isang maligayang kaarawan sa pinakamabait at napakagandang guro ng MCHS, Miss Maya Mosqueda. Ma'am, uh, Ma Maya Mosqueda, happy birthday! Next. Okay, from Sir Daniel O. Civiliano. Shout out to our TVL curriculum head of, of Senior High School of Tashano Hilay National High School, Ma'am Yonis Rakoma Gentiles, watch awardee for today. Congratulations po, ma'am. And thank you, sir, para sa yung shout-out. Next, we have ma'am Aileen Suter Orion, Mayong Buntag, Babungahong Adlaw, Talandang National High School T-Force. Ayan, Mayong Buntag. Okay, ma'am. Yes, we have another one still from Sir Daniel O. Sevillano. Sir Darwin, ABS-CBN talaga ang namumutawi sa, iyang, sa iyong diwa. Ayan. Yes, we have another one. We also have from Ma'am Carmi Obo, Good morning, Cluster 6 from Emilio J. Estipona National High School. Basta Estipona, best Estipona gitaw. Okay, may isa pa rito tayo from Betshay Lanzana sa Pulion. Shout out to all the teachers of Biao National High School. Good luck, Biao Simulators. Basta Biao Kuyao. <laughs> okay. Meron pa ba, Sir Jack? Parang wala na. I, I think we'll have to proceed now with our um, activities for this morning. Okay. So, Sir Jack, in a while, we are going to have our different breakout sessions for the different simulations using the virtual classrooms where you will witness different lesson exemplars per competency based on our melts or on our most essential learning competencies. Mm -hmm. And also we will have those three different breakout sessions for elementary level, junior high school level, and senior high school level. And we also have a different um, different breakout session link for both elementary level and junior high school level, which will be posted on your screens right now. For elementary level, we have Ma'am Joanna Make Rojas and Sir German Cajes as your hosts. Ayan. For the junior high school level naman, we have Ma'am Maria Lucille Mejias and Mr. Kim Ravida to welcome you. And for the senior high school level, we have yours truly and Ma'am Maria Christine Mejias to guide you through the session. For the senior high school participants, please remain in this virtual session you are in right now. Again, paalala lang po, yung maiiwan lang po mamaya dito for our breakout session ay ang mga teachers natin from senior high school. Yes, again, reminding everyone, please check the breakaway session links on your screens right now. We are going to give you about two to three minutes to transfer to your respective virtual sessions. Yeah, thank you. And Mom Ira, uh, we would also like to remind those who have not yet registered for this morning's attendance, please do so, as our AM attendance registration will close until 12 noon. Ayan. And again, reminding everyone kung sino pa po yung hindi pa nakakapag-like and subscribe sa ating official Facebook page and YouTube channel. That would be Cluster 6 News Center for our Facebook page and Cyber Guru with a capital D-E-R for our YouTube channel. And Sir Jazz, we would also like to acknowledge the effort and expertise of our technical working group and production team made up of the ICT teachers and specialists from the different schools in Cluster 6. Big congratulations po sa inyong lahat. 
And of course, congratulations din sa ating training management team headed by none other than our Cluster 6 Coast District Supervisor, Dr. Junito Ogalan, along with the members of the different school heads of Cluster 6. Thank you very much. Ayan. So, I hope everyone is settled. Okay na ba? Kasi kung hindi pa, let us have our shout-outs, Sir Jazz. So, let us call on our powerhouse of Cluster 6. Let's start off with our Cluster 6 Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Janito Ogalan. Next, we have Dr. Leia M. Camalotes from Mental Comprehensive High School. We also have, hi, Ma'am Emma B. Bokong of Optashano Hilay National High School. We also have Heidi L. Forsuelo of Santo Niño National High School. We also have Sir Christopher N. Labastida of Bago Oshero High School. Hindi naman magpapole si Mr. Yolando I. Cortez of Tugbok National High School. Of course, nakita na natin kanina Sir Jazz, si Sir Raul A. Cabilogan of Los Amigos National High School. Mm -hmm. At nandyan din uh, si Dr. Helen G. Reyno of Takuna National High School. Yes, we also have isa sa ating pinakabagong high schools. We have Sir Jason R. Reyes of Ula National High School. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Also, we have Mary Ann B. Ongkoy, ma'am Mary Ann B. Ongkoy of Biao National High School. Yes, si Ma'am Mary Ann Sir Jazz is our um, training manager for the day. So congratulations, Ma'am Mary Ann Ongkoy. We also have another one. We have Sir Rodrigo J. Cayanong from Emilio Estipona National High School. Mm -hmm. meron, puro, eh, meron pa tayong isa po rito. Um, Elmer, si Mr. Elmer A. Suarez from Tagakpan National High School. We also have Sir Felix O. Abelio of Talandang National High School. Mm -hmm. We also have Judivin Abadia from Matina Biao High School. We also have Sir Antonio D. Tutor of New Valencia Integrated School. We also have Robert B. Ariate of Carmen Integrated School. Ma'am Joanna May L. Rojas of Valderas Integrated School. And last but not least, we have Sir Henry P. Balladares of Bartolome Integrated School. Ayan. So I guess all our participants are ready for their respective virtual sessions. So Sir Jazz? Okay. So again, final, uh, final announcements po. Ang um, maiiwan lang po dito sa ating uh, live feed or live video ay ang mga part uh, participants sa senior high school lamang po. For the junior high school and uh, elementary level, you will have your breakout links um, down below na easy share din sa ating ICT team. Once again, um, good good morning, and I do hope that you'll have a very wonderful day. God bless you, and we'll see you later.
Okay, once again, good morning. Um, announcement lang po sa, uh, sa lahat ng mga ating mga participants. Ang may iwan lang po dito sa ating live video feed ay yung mga participants mula sa senior high school lamang po. Again, yung mati may iwan lamang po rito ay yung mga teachers natin from senior high school. Ma'am, ba may mga, baka may mga shoutouts po tayo dyan? First off, from Ma'am Juvie Digamo, good morning to all. My son, uh, Mason, congrats. Okay, we also have. Okay, again, from Angie Valentin Dao, happy, happy viewing. Spread positivity para sa bata. Okay, baka may iba pa tayong mga shoutouts dyan. Okay, from, oh, kani, uh, from, ano lang, from Sir Darwin Polido. Welcome, ma'am. Rio Mirangel Montesilio Dacuyan. Pila ko bayabas to? <laughs> okay. That was actually a very strange question. But again, thank you, Sir Darwin Polito. Okay. Also from Koreanang Davawenya, more power, Cluster 6 from Emilio J. Estepona National High School. God bless us all. Check lang natin yung ano natin, ma'am, yung pagka-capslock, yung mga salita natin. Next, we have from Ma'am Aileen Suter Orion. Basta talandang, dili mo undang. Baka may ibang mga shoutouts pa dyan. Tingnan natin. Oh, from Maria Caroline or Caroline Antipala. Good morning, everyone. Shoutout sa among co-teacher, Mr. Joseph Andrew Sabido. Also from Ma'am Leilani, kanya tetan, uh, isa sa mga um, sabihin natin namimigay na shoutouts more and more. Uh, sabi niya rito, more power, cluster 6. Okay, meron pa tayo rito from Ma'am Venus uh, Pidra, uh, Pidra Verde. Good morning po. Also from Ma'am Crystal Joy Fernandez, one of the hosts uh, yesterday. Good morning, Cluster 6, for the win. Lub, 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 and um, Kilig Face. Also, we have from Mary Julian um, Yulogio, or Yulogio. Um, I'm sorry if I've actually um, pronounced it incorrectly. Uh, good morning from New Valencia Integrated School. Okay, ayan, nandita na si Ma'am. Good morning, Ma'am. Okay, good morning, Sir Jazz. Let's formally start the breakout session. Mm, yes, ma'am. Now, to start off, we have uh, this phrase of this or this line. No sensible man watches his feet hit the ground. He looks ahead what kind of ground they'll hit next. Again, good morning to all our fellow educators who have been consistently viewing and tuning in to our live webinar session or sessions since day one. Welcome to the third day of our four-day Cluster 6 rollout training of trainers on learning management system. This cluster rollout training has reference to Division Memorandum Number 751 through the 2020 or Division Training of Trainers on Learning Management System, aiming to reach our co educators under Cluster 6 and help them be equipped with the necessary skills and be more than ready for the coming school year. Good day. I am Maria Cristina Omijias, a junior high school English and Nihonga teacher of Mikal Comprehensive High School, and together with me today is Sir. And thank you, ma'am. And I am, let's just speak about this, junior high school Filipino teacher of Mental Comprehensive High School. I believe our teacher participants are, are, are aware, already aware, um, informed as to what will happen at this time henceforth. However, we would like to reiterate the, what was mentioned by our hosts earlier this morning. Uh, for our teacher participants, especially those who just recently joined our, our, in the live broadcasts, to be well guided accordingly. Yes, Sir Jess. I believe that our teacher participants are all excited now to fill up another scoop of learning to their bucket full of knowledge. Sa kasalukuyan po, ay, uh, tayo po nasa kanya-kanya nating breakout sessions based on our own respective levels. Okay, so we have three levels, uh, elementary, junior high school, and senior high school. These levels shall be having a simultaneous simulation on their respective learning areas starting from 9, supposedly 9, but it's already 9.40 to be exact, until 12 noon. So may we present to you the sequence of simulation for senior high school. Please proceed, sir. 
Okay, for the first set for this morning, we have uh, the teacher, Mr. Ruel P. Dialogo of Biao National High School. He will be simulating the subject type core with the subject description biology with his student, Jan uh, Janelle Lin T. Pondo, CESE. And after that one, we will be having an open forum with our teach uh, with Sir Dialogo. Next, uh, we will uh, next we will have um, the second simulation with um, Mr. David Jonathan M. Valdez from Emilia J. Estimo Estipona National High School. Um, he will be simulating the subject type applied with the subject description practical research together with his student Joseph Andrew El Sabido. And after that, which we'll be having uh, the open forum with Mr. Valdez. Uh, Ma'am, uh, Ma'am Tin, maaari mo bang ibahagi sa amin yung second uh, set, uh, specifically yung third and fourth simulators natin? Sure thing, sir. So for the second set, which will happen at exactly or probably around 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., we'll have teacher or as our teacher, Kim or engineer, Kim Ravida of Tugbuk National High School to simulate contemporary Filipino arts from the regions under general academic and together with him who will act as his student Zippers or Zyphorus T. LaGuardia and after that one the same thing we will be having an open forum. Next we'll have um, Ma'am Carol June Sansona to simulate TVL specialized food processing of um, actually, Mom Carol is from Emilio J. Estepona National High School. And together with her is Mom Blessica M. Gapona, who will also act as her student. And after that one, the same process, we will be having an open forum. Okay. And as you can see, the simulators uh, shall be invited on screen later on, every after presentation for an open forum. Yes. So for shout outs and questions or clarifications, you know the drill already, right? So feel free to key in or comment down your um, comments or suggestions of, uh, in our comment box or comment section. Our simulators are more than ready and willing to attend to your concerns. Listen, enjoy, and learn. Now to start off, may we request our webinar director to please project on screen uh, the recorded video of our first simulator, Sir Ruel P. Dialogo of Biao National High School, together with uh, his student, Ms. Glidel Tegatan. Good day to you, Glidel. Good day, sir. Okay, so how are you? I'm doing great. Pa. How about you, sir? I'm feeling good. Okay, so I'm just to know if naka open na ba kasi mong LMS? Yes, sir. Ready na ba tanan? Open na okay. po yung LMS. Okay, very good. Because I already enrolled you to the course. But before we start, I will... Um, give sa, some introduction about the course. So, are you ready? Yes, sir. Ready. Okay. Good. So now, this is Senior High School Core Subject, Earth and Life Science. I will be sharing to you my screen. This is um, some, in, some sort of introduction. Okay, wait before you go you are going to answer the lms so senior high school core subject earth and life science grade 11. so can you see this um statement nga na a circle yes, a red, sir. red circle can you yes, read sir. describe how layers of rocks stratified rocks are formed okay thank you so that will be the most essential learning competency that you are going to comply within the course. So here, before I made the, the course, so I created an outline. Then the outline was checked by an evaluator, wherein the evaluator gave, gave comments and suggestions. And then I created now the module. So this was the module that I made. Um, and then 
there are the parts in the module. So if you are going to open later in your LMS, you, you will see also the different parts, just like in the EDM. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Any questions, Glendale? None po. Okay, good. You are going to open your LMS account. Um, I already enrolled you there. And I want you also to share your screen so that I will be also guided. Yes, sir. Okay. My screen visible po. Yes, glide down. So just click the course. Okay. So welcome to the Earth and Life Science Grade 11 12 course about describing how layers of rocks or stratified rocks are formed. This course was designed to provide you with fun and meaningful opportunities for guided and independent learning at your own pace and time. You will be enabled to process the contents of the learning resource while being an active learner. So are you ready, Glidel? Yes, sir. Okay. As you can see, are you familiar with the with the parts? As you can see, um, a while ago in the module. The parts are ano sir? Nakita ko rin yun sa the module. module. Yes. So it is just the same. So I want you to click that. I need to know. This is perfectly designed for independent learning. Um, you will have a better understanding about how layers of rocks are formed. So this is also properly designed. That is parallel to the most essential learning competency, which is kindly read. Describe how layers of rocks, stratified rocks are formed. Okay then you are expected to develop an understanding about describing how layers of rocks or stratified rocks are formed at the end of this competency okay so are you ready glidel yes sir okay please click the what i know in this part there is this is a 15 item pre-test this is to check your prior knowledge and then you only have one attempt to answer this so but um, in addition if you get 100 per 100 percent or perfect score you can decide um, ab about skipping the course or competency okay Glidel. so your time limit is 30 minutes so attempt the quiz now click that then quiz now okay so what Start if attempt. a question what if yes. i finish the pretest earlier than 30 minutes um it's okay it, i will start now for the pretest okay so i want you to read carefully the question and you have 30 minutes to answer the pretest and again, you only have one attempt to answer that. Okay, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so please click the start attempt, the one with blue, um, blue color.
So please click um, submit all and finish. So wow, you you answer the pretest um, um, earlier than expected. Just okay. guess. Submit, <laughs> submit all and finish. Okay, Glidel. So you got nine over fifteen. So not bad. So now I want you to click that. Describe how layers of rocks or stratified rocks are formed. This um, one, sir. Um, the one at the top. Top. Yes. Click that. Okay. So, I think you are done with what I need to know, and what I know. So I want you to click what's in. The third part. Okay, so can you read the description? What's in? This is a brief drill or review to help help you link the current lesson link. with the previous one. Okay, so this is um to check your um learning about the previous topic. Okay, so this is just a drag and drop activity. Please click the attempt quiz now. You might be familiar with the rock cycle. So this cycle involves three types of rocks. Are you familiar with um, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic? Yes, sir. I have encountered that one when I was in elementary. Wow, elementary. And uh, junior high school. I want you to scroll down. Um, okay, so what do you see? There are three rock types so can you please read those rocks igneous rock metamorphic okay. rock and sedimentary rock okay very good what you are going to do is just click the each of the photo and then you are going to drop it to its place okay yes, so sir. i will give you one to two minutes to do that activity. Thank you, sir. Okay, Glidel. Hello. No, sir. So I think you're done. Please scroll down to check your answer. Click the finish attempt. Okay, then submit and all finish. Submit and all finish. What is your score? So your score is perfect. Yes. Okay, so congratulations. Very good. So you got perfect. So I want to ask, how did you come up with that? Um, what did you put the igneous rock there? and as well as the other rocks. Uh, yung answer ko po sa activity. Yung based on our previous lesson po, I have remembered that igneous, igneous rock is yes. coming from the cold magma. Okay, very good. Then, so those are your kind of familiarization. Yes, sir. Then okay, yung, from the keyword, after it becomes an igneous rock or from igneous rock, it becomes, yes. it turns into sediments. And from that word, from that keyword, I have figured out to be, after that, it will form into a sedimentary rock. Okay, very good. And after uh, being applied with heat and pressure, it forms into metamorphic rock. Okay, very good, Glidel. So I can see that you you applied some kind of familiarization and the techniques to to familiarize the 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 process of rock cycle. Yes, sir. To proceed to the next part of the competency, you are going to. Ah, uh, okay. 
click the next activity, the what's new. Okay, a new lesson will be introduced to you. It's like um, maybe a problem opener, a song, a poem, or a situation. So here is, I want you to read the description. Um, wait, are you familiar with this photo? Para siyang ano po, isang rock formation, nakahugis okay. ano siya, pyramid. Ah, okay, very good. So, good um, observation. I want you to go or scroll down. Mm -hmm. So, that is the Grand Canyon in Arizona. Okay, I want you to to read the, the description or the statement below. Assuming that you have an old diary, using that diary, you faithfully record events in your life. Try to flip okay. through your diary and pick a date. Read the events that happened during that day. Upon reading, you may feel some nostalgia as it made you think of the past. It's just amazing that a single diary will make you remember the feelings of the past. Oh, feelings. Now remember that the land you are stepping on is made up of layers. Let's say the diary is like of the planet's Earth's lithosphere. Each layer of the land represents a page in the Earth's history. The bottom layer being the oldest and the topmost, the layer you stepped on, represents the youngest layer. Can you relate to this? Because I think you have a, a diary. Yes, sir. If meron pong nangyaring ano, magandang pangyayari sa, ah, okay. sa araw ko. Sinusulat ko po yung sa diary ko. Just to write um, good things or some challenges there. Okay, thank you. So I want you to go to the next activity. Um, what is it? Okay, so in this part, Glidel, um I will leave you and I think I will give you 10 to 15 minutes to read this um, content okay if you have questions just write it down on the paper and then um, just ask me later beds is greater than one centimeter thick lamination Less than one centimeter. Yes, so the difference is just on the thickness of the sedimentary rock. Okay, so I think, are you familiar with this um, stratigraphy? No, sir. Um, haven't you recalled it in your pretest? Ah, oh, okay, stratigraphy. Okay, there is a question there about stratification. Okay, Glidel, it is stated there, um, observe the rock formation. Have you observed in this rock formation? There are layers po. Each layer has a different color. Okay, very good. So the your indications are the color and that's what makes you distinguish the layers. Yes, sir. So how about the, the planar um, arrangement? Is it horizontal or vertical? Horizontal po. Okay, horizontal but bent. Yes, sir. Bent okay. like that. Forms okay. a V. Okay, very good observation. I want you to scroll down. So that photo is can be found in California, USA. So, click the how layers of rocks are formed. So, in this part, this is a reading material. So, in here, um, this will be about the formation of the layers, which involves four processes. Lydell? Yes, sir. We have weathering, transportation, deposition, and litification. 
again, I will give you five to ten minutes to read the, the content. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, if you have questions, just turn on the microphone and then ask the question right away. Yes, Pop. Okay, Glidel. Yes, sir. This is a good photo or illustration because it, it represents the four processes of the how rock layers are formed. Please read first the weathering and erosion to the left. Weathering and erosion. Okay. Transport. Next. Deposition. And the last. Burial, compaction, and lithification. Or in other terms, we have compaction and cementation. Oh, cementation. Okay. This is a good um, representation of the whole process. Okay? Yes, sir. And then in the next portion, you will be, um, you will read um, about the about the first process which is the weathering um and then the three types of weathering and so on okay glidel yes sir thank you you're welcome Take note that in this in this process, the cementation, the compaction and cementation. Yes, sir. Um, the cements are actually made up of quartz, calcite, and limonite. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want you to familiarize that. Well, I want you to take note of those terms. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, Glidel, I want you to scroll down. Please click the how rock layers are formed in video. So I I found a video that I think this is a two minute video that will help you um, summarize or you know congest the the topic. Okay, so click the button with. I was walking my dog on the beach when I noticed that the cliffs are made of horizontal stripes of rock. But what causes this? To understand this, we need to explain how sediments are formed and explain how sediments are turned into layers of new rocks. Existing rocks can be broken down into small pieces or sediments in a process called weathering. There are three main types of weathering. Physical weathering is caused by temperature changes. For example, in freeze-thaw weathering, water gets into cracks in the rock. When the water freezes, it expands and forces the rock apart. This happens many times, eventually breaking the rock. An example of chemical weathering is when acid rain reacts with substances in rocks. Even plants or animals can break up rocks. This is biological weathering. The sediments formed by weathering can be moved away by water, ice, wind or gravity. The combined process of weathering and transport is called erosion. Eventually, sediments settle in one place. For example, they may sink to the bottom of the sea. This is called deposition. More layers of sediment are deposited on top. Over millions of years, the weight of the layers above compressed the ones below, and they hardened into sedimentary rock in a process called compaction. 
Sometimes another substance seeps between the sediments and hardens, sticking or cementing the sediments together. The whole process leads to the formation of horizontal layers of sedimentary rock. So, erosion breaks old rocks into small pieces and transports the sediments. These are deposited in layers and compacted into sedimentary rocks. This explains the stripy appearance of the cliffs at the beach. Each stripe is a layer of sedimentary rock. Did you learn a lot? Yes, sir. I have learned a lot from the video. For okay. So, I want you to um, check your learning. So, please proceed to the next activity um, um, here um, click what's more um, this is a special activity because this is um, considered as your assignment so can you please read the, the title of the activity and then the goals Ronnie rocks homemade sedimentary rock the goal of okay. this activity is to create your own sedimentary rock and to observe the different layers of sediments that settles at different times. Actually, you can make it personalized so you can make that Glidel, Glidel Rocks Homemade Sedimentary Rock. Okay, so Glidel, I want you to click the What's More. Okay, Glidel, so from your down downloaded file, um, please maximize the document and enable the editing so you just read earlier the goal of this activity and i want you to check out the materials okay so the materials there are given and the procedure and i think those materials are can be just found in your house or in your area okay so glidel i want you to scroll down to the bottom part because there is a note there two notes so please read do not throw away your homemade sedimentary rock yet you will still use it for the next activity Provide photos okay. of yourself doing your homemade sedimentary rock. Okay, so I want you to take a photo of that. Okay, so this activity you will put it. Um, you will accomplish this using the a uh, using the word document. Okay. Sir. Okay, and then please go back to the LMS. The good thing here is. Um, the due date of that assignment activity is on August 7, 2020, which is on Friday. Okay. So, Glidel, if you want to submit the your document, please click the Add Submission. Okay. And then just put your file okay, in that portion so that you can drag and drop files here to add them okay yes, okay then after that is go to the what i have any questions for this activity how can i end up for attach a file where to click this um arrow okay the arrow then i will upload my file yes upload a file click the upload a file ah, okay okay mm -hmm. then choose file and then that's it then find your file or document okay so go to the next activity what i have learned what i have learned or what you have learned so this is just a summary of the overall competency. So if you're going to read that, um, you might be familiar with the terms and the content. Um, 
okay so please read okay glidel so i think you're done yes sir so click the what i can do so there is um this is a an another um, assignment activity so from your homemade sedimentary rock um, you have to draw it by layer and describe it by providing the description so just click that this part is what i can do so from your homemade sedimentary rock you are going to use it by um, doing some draw by layer and then you are going to describe it by providing description okay so i want you to to click the downloaded file you must do your homemade sedimentary rock so that you can answer this um part the what i can do okay and then siba um it is in the note there that you must not um dispose your homemade sedimentary rock yes, sir. Um, because you are going to use it for this activity okay so from your homemade sedimentary rock you have to draw it by layer and then you are going to describe it by providing the description um if you if your homemade sedimentary rock has four or more layers you can add another you can add an another row okay yes sir and just like this then you are just going to draw here and then here is you're going to describe it okay yes sir then you're going to create just a simple conclusion about what is it all about okay Glider? yes sir. again since okay simple sentence so just one sentence mm -hmm. okay okay so Glider, that is in the part what i can do i want you to go to the next activity you have additional activities actually these are two assignments so you can just do it um flexible okay so the assignment number two um you're going to sequence the events and there are events there for events and then you are going to arrange that logically from beginning to end okay yes sir um the rock the sedimentary rock is sandstone okay so there are statements there you are just going to arrange that again logically from beginning to end okay, okay next assignment three um you are going to explain how sedimentary rock is formed and then you are going to include include i'm so sorry include the words river deposition pressure time cemented together and i am very strict with um essay type of um, assessment so you only you are only allotted 50 words for that assignment okay okay glidel so this is um a bit of a different um assignment because please scroll down again this um assignment you can the due date for of submission is on friday on august 7 um i want you to scroll down this is a little bit different because please click the add submission okay scroll down you can put your answer here i will just click it here sir yes yes just like the same or from the previous assignment yes sir okay i think you need to scroll down any questions from this um additional activity none sir okay so i think you need to go to the last part which is the assessment or the post test 
Oke. Okay. Will I click this one, sir? Yes, please. Leave, um, please leave the... Okay, po. Okay, so in this assessment, this is a post-test. This is to check your learning about the competency. So again, this is this assessment is graded or recorded. But the good thing here is you have five attempts to answer the post test. Again, the time limit is 30 minutes. Okay, so I want you to take your time. Um, the grade that I will be recording is the highest grade that you got. Okay. Yes, sir. Any questions before attempting the quiz? None, sir. Okay. So you can now start. I'm done answering okay. the... Okay, Glidel, so let's see um, your score. So submit all and finish. Congratulations, you got 15 over 15. Wow, okay. thank you, sir. So congratulations, Glidel. So you really uh, mastered the competency, which is how rock players or stratified rocks are formed okay yes sir. but again you still not have finished the the course competency because you still have some assignments that you need to to be submitted yes sir okay so any questions glidel sir after i have I've submitted my assignments. You can notify me through um, Facebook. Just message me, okay? Or message your your class president. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, so thank you so much, Glidel, for participating in my learning management system. Okay. I will stop sharing my screen now, po. Okay. So, thank you so much and goodbye and keep safe. Again, that was Sir Ruel P. Dialogo of Biao National High School. And now uh, to, to join us today, uh, we, uh, we present to you live on screen, one of our brave souls today, Sir Ruel P. Dialogo of Biao National High School. Good morning, sir. Hi, Sir Ruel, good morning. Ay, nakamute po kayo, sir. Okay. Okay, balikan natin si Sir Ruel. Sir Ruel, good morning. Okay, good morning, Sir and Ma'am. <laughs> so, kamusta po kayo dyan, Sir? Um, feel great and feeling awesome. Oh, ganun po ba? <laughs> good to hear that, Sir. So, Sir... Um, we have a few questions for you, sir, uh, regarding your um, demonstration or simulation, sir. Are you ready now, sir? Yes. <laughs> okay, sir, Jess, would you like to start your question? Or... Oh, sure. Uh, well, sir, well, um, well, I do believe now, despite those challenges that you faced while doing the simulation, you still did, uh, you still, um, you still did a great job. But um, yes. can you tell us the challenges that you encountered while doing such and 
what uh, how did you um, tackle it or paano mo hinandle yung mga simula, yung mga challenges na nasabing pagre-record o paggawa ng nasabing um, online class um um there are ve- there are things na very challenging sir such as the signal internet signal internet connection and then the ano pa ba yung i'm not very familiar pa kasi um doing the lms or making um a lecture process sa lms but since um i considered kasi myself as a learning by doing na person so but i'm just exploring and experimenting mm. po. Ganun po ba, sir? So, in short, baptism by fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, ma'am, baka may tanong ka, ma'am. Yes. 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 I was actually about to ask the same questions, like, what factors did you consider? But, um, Sir Jazz already asked you the same question. Now, sir, I just want to know, after the conduct of the simulation, like, while reviewing your recorded video or file, what were your significant learning insights or realizations? Like, um, could you please give some pieces of advice or tips to our teachers for them to better their um, simulation or their the conduct of their online classes using virtual classrooms? Um, I think they need really to um, be open for, ano, kanang, kanang ganyan mag, ano, mag, open for help. Kanang, mm-hmm. dili, ma, ma, ulaw ba, mag, ask of help, kay, <laughs> Yes. yes, dapat din yun maulang mag-ask, mag-ano o help. Maulang ang ako ang na-ano. Ayun, okay. So Significant I... learning. Um, I, I guess it would be better also, no, if we have um, also uh, invited the students so that we can get some insights from the perspective okay. of the students. Maybe next. All right. So, thank you so much, sir. So, I think that's, yes. a piece of, uh, that's the piece of advice that we can give to our teachers to to somehow be open for like um improvement and ask to be unsure so that's really good. okay so can i have um a shout out pa? sure po, sure po. Yes, po. Um, i would like to have a shout out sa of course sa cluster six sa ting psds sir Junito ogalan and to our principal sa our national high school uh, Miss Mary Ann o ong ay Miss Mary Ann B Ongkoy and to my fellow teachers there at Biao National High School to especially sa non teaching personnel din and to Miss Glidel Dagatan my student she is from Santo Niño National High School and of course I would like also to thanks sa uh, sa team na kauban nako diri sa Mental Comprehensive High School mm. Okay. Um, baka may gusto pang i-greet, sir. Families or friends. I would like to, of course, I dedicated this um, work or output to my family, especially to my father. Yes. Oh, so sweet. But again, sir, again, uh, teachers, um, is, um, isa-isip din natin yung sinabi ni sir kanina, wag mahiyang magtanong, ha? Yes po. Okay po. But again, that was Sir Ruel Dialogo Jr. Um, baka may mga comments or any um, greetings para kay Sir Ruel para dito sa, from our viewers. Okay. okay. We have one from uh, Melody Judaya Avila. Congrats Sir Ruel Jr. of Pescadero Dialogo. Job well done. Congratulations, Sir. Thank you, Ma Melody. Okay, baka may iba pa tayong mga shoutouts para kay Sir Ruel. Tingnan natin. Mm. Okay, oh, oh, here from Sir Boots Biniga. Pa-shoutout po sa Hello, uh, Hello Cluster 6 from Cluster 5. <laughs> Hi, Sir Boots. Okay, from Ma'am Mary Cor Guarda Kivil. Congratulations, Sir Ruel. Congratulations, Sir. Thank you. You and Dami fans, Sir Ruel, oh. Ah, <laughs> pwede na tumakbo. Naglalabas na na ang mga fans ni Sir Ruel. Mm-hmm. So thank you also to those teachers who are pushing me to do this. 
topic yeah so that uh, um well that's actually well said and uh, again mag- magandang opportunity din po ito sa you sir para exposure din po di ba <laughs> yes sir Mm-hmm. And also, sir, maybe um, aside from being open to ask questions, maybe for those who are well-versed in using the online platform, maybe they should also not be afraid to share their knowledge and skills so that we can do collaborative efforts and grow as a lot faster. Yes. Okay. And we have another one, sir, Jazz, from <clears throat> Ma'am Maria Lourdes Madelo. Watching here at Tagapa National High School. Hello po sa mga teachers natin dyan sa Tagapa National High School. Good morning. Okay, from Ma'am Venus Piedeverde. Congrats, Sir Ruel. Thank you, Ma'am Venus. <laughs> ah, uh, katabi mo ba siya ngayon, Sir? Ah, hindi po. Ah, hindi. Ah, katabi, ah. Ang katabi ko po si Ma'am Beverly Rehedor. Okay, Ma'am Beverly, Our, pwede ko po. Okay, our po. ano, our SHS focal person po sa Biao. Ah, ganun po ba? Yes. Okay, uh, pwede ba natin makita si Ma'am Beverly um, Hedor po? Pwede ba daw ka mag-catch? Kasi malayo-layo si Ma'am Kasalita. Hi po, Ma'am. Greetings po. Greetings daw, Ma'am. Hi. <laughs> um, hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity, Cluster 6, especially pa opportunity kay Sir Ruel. Uh, he did very well in this uh, simulation. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat po. Thank, and thank you rin po sa pag po sa kanya all the way until today. Okay po? <laughs> salamat. Ah, sige po. Okay, again, that was Sir Ruel Dialogo Jr. of Viao okay. National High School. Yes, thank you, sir. The first we would like to read up the comment of Ma'am Karen and Visaya, a master teacher of um, New Valencia, if I'm not mistaken. You nailed it, sir, real well. Congratulations, Paul. Yes. Thank you, Ma'am Karen. From Manuel okay. Changa. Thank you so much, Ma'am Changa. Once again, sir, real well, Have a good day. Okay. Okay, now, habang hinihintay natin yung video natin uh, for the second uh, simulator, uh, mga shoutouts, tingnan mo natin yung ilang mga shoutouts natin, ma'am, okay? Yes, yeah, may mga pahabol na mga questions dyan for the next simulators. Para makapag-prepare din naman sila. Okay po. Okay, from Jang Jang Pondok. Happy to see you, Sir Ruel. Keep smiling. Oh, pahabol na message kay Sir Ruel. Baka naririnig mo pa to Sir Ruel. And I don't know. Team Panatin. From Sir or Ma'am Juvi Digamo. Congratulations or congrats, yeah. Sir Ruel. And I'm keeping it up with her now. So, for sure, uh, I received my message. Okay, baka may ibang bang mga shoutouts dyan. Mm-hmm. So while waiting for the shout outs of our um, teacher participants, again, let's grab this time to acknowledge our Cluster 6 Learning Management Team headed by our Cluster Supervisor, Dr. Janito Ogalan. So, good morning. Okay, uh, now, see you, Pam. It's okay, the bus or jazz? Okay, oh, yeah, so let's welcome on screen our second simulator. And again, please help us welcome. And again, please help us welcome Mr. David Jonathan M. Valdez with uh, his student Joseph Andrew El Sabido. He's actually from Emilio J. Estepona National High School. Good day to our SDS, Dr. Giliana, Cluster Head, PSDS, Dr. Galan, our Emilio J. Estipona National High School, School Head, Ms. Rodrigo Cayanong, and all Cluster 6 School Heads, non-teaching and fellow teaching personnel. 
before we begin, let us position ourselves in what situation we are right now. Let us briefly walk through ODL or ODEL. O stands for open. Not on the who can enroll, but probably more on the duration. Though, that depends on our teachers on how the deadline will be stated. Mine is weekly. It's based from the printed modular approach. Then, where? Learning materials can be studied and answered anywhere. Next, D for distance. The separation of the teacher and learners. For our case, it will be permanent. Maybe for the first semester or first and second quarters, as stated by the president during the 2020 SONA, in banning face-to-face -face classes unless there is a vaccine. Learning plus E, for where we use the tech differently to deliver the lessons. The Department of Education will be fusing multiple generations of distance education in the Philippines, depending on the context as presented in the results of the LESF survey portion. This presentation was created differently. My course's interface aims to be low in mobile data consumption and relatively flexible, since many of our financially challenged and living in the far-flung area learners are prioritized. This approach is highly recommended for the context of applied senior high school courses. The nature being usually written output-based learning and builds upon the foundations laid by prerequisite and other subjects. Next, we'll have the navigation of the teacher-student in the actual course. Sacrificing comprehension for speed. We need to make sure that what we are doing is in 
improving the knowledge base on the field. By indirectly of the mixture cannot be rushed as it forms the vital framework of your whole research. Let's try this. Trouble numbers. Instruction. Arrange the letters to recreate the words. Use the boxes to provide your answers. Analysis. Answer the following five questions. Citing your sources in text citation. Rationale. As we continue writing the research paper, it is important to state the sources of information. This is done by writing in text citation and the references section. The latter will be discussed later. In text citation gives credit to the author of the original idea, Journal ETAL, 2019. One must cite whenever it is not an idea originally coming from the researcher be it a slash and published or unpublished source. This act though challenging lends strength to the paper and builds the credibility of the researcher. According to Preto ETAL, 2017, for qualitative research, information taken from these sources can support in the process of interpretation and analysis of data. This module will follow and focus on the APA. American Psychological Association referencing style only. It is commonly used in the field of social science, which is the approach of this subject.
Elements of citation. It is important for the researcher to take note of the following parts of a source material. Identifying these parts using the labels on these journals from the Philippine Journal of Science will also be useful in writing your references later on. Elements such as author slash s surname slash s, year of publication, page numbers then the title, journal name, or publication, and volume and issue. Figure 1. Journal with one author. Figure 2. Journal with two authors. Figure 3. Journal with more than three authors. Ways to cite your sources. Statements. One paraphrased, information from the source material is rewritten into your own words. This is ideal since it shows that the researcher read and understood the idea slash s before including it in the research paper, APA Manual 7th ed, 2019. To direct quotation, material is copied word for word due to the importance of statement and irreplaceable structure. APA Manual 7th ed. 2019. The page number and quotation marks must be added to the statement. Asterisk secondary source. It is recommended that whenever possible always try to find the primary source that the author slash s of the material cite slash s. However, there are situations when the original source might be written in a different language, not in circulation anymore, and the like. Preto ETAL. 2017. Such situation allows the use of a secondary source. Citation type action source parts needed paraphrased expressed in own words author surname, year published direct quote copied word for word and page number slash s plus quotation marks secondary source can be expressed in own words or copied word for word. Same elements but include the primary and secondary citations. Ways to cite your sources. Statements. One paraphrased, information from the source material is rewritten into your own words. This is ideal since it shows that the researcher read and understood the idea slash s before including it in the research paper, APA Manual 7th ed, 2019. To direct quotation, Material is copied word for word due to the importance of statement and irreplaceable structure. APA Manual 7th ed. 2019. The page number and quotation marks must be added to the statement. Asterisk secondary source. It is recommended that whenever possible always try to find the primary source that the author slash s of the material cite slash s. However, there are situations when the original source might be written in a different language, not in circulation anymore, and the like. Preto ETAL, 2017. Such situation allows the use of a secondary source. Citation type action source parts needed paraphrased expressed in own words author surname, year published direct quote copied word for word and the page number slash s. Plus quotation marks secondary source can be expressed in own words or copied word for word. Same elements but include the primary and secondary citations. Structure. There are two ways to write in text, the narrative and parenthetical citation. Both can be used though there are differences in the structure. Narrative citations require prepositions such as, according to, followed by the surname of the author and year of publication then the statement. On the other hand, parenthetical citations are found at the end of the sentence enclosing the surname slash s and year of publication in a parenthesis. When writing a direct quote, either narrative or parenthetical citations can be used but it must bear the quotation marks and specific page number where it was lifted. Narrative citation, start of sentence, surname and, year published only, parenthetical citation, end of sentence, surname and slash etal, year published.
Direct quotation and quotation marks. Plus, underscore page number slash s. Progression of author count. As the number of authors differ per material, so does the citation format. Using the author count as basis, three rules must be followed for one, two, and three or more authors. Kindly refer to the presented source parts of a material in this case journal's first pages from the Philippine Journal of Science. One one author. Directly quoted, narrative citation, Polly's, 2020, stated that the recurrence of food crises is inevitable when there is less rice supply from exporting countries and when their farmers are aging. P.358. Paraphrased, parenthetical citation, food shortages become a possibility when farmers become older and rice supply of the exporting countries becomes lower than expected. Polly's, 2020. Two two authors. Directly quoted, narrative citation. Bandong and Litzinger, 2014, stated that farmers to invest more efforts in controlling weeds in their field rather than spend resources on insecticides is a first line of enhancing crops ability to compensate for insect pest damage. P.32. Paraphrased, parenthetical citation, a better way to increase crop resilience is to prioritize weed control than the application of insecticides. Bandong and Litzinger, 2014. Asterisk note, narrative citation, write the word and in between the surnames of two authors while parenthetical citation uses the ampersand and. Three, three authors or more. Directly quoted, narrative citation, Soriano ETAL, 2020, stated that, the A look batty leaves powder can be incorporated into other products that need fortifying as it has a relatively high total carotenoid content, P280. Paraphrased, parenthetical citation, food products with low total carotenoid content can be enriched using A look batty leaves powder, Soriano ETAL, 2020. Pattern of ways to cite. Number of authors start of sentence, narrative citation, end of sentence, parenthetical citation, one surname, year published, surname, year published, two surname of first author and surname of second author, year published, surname first author ampersand surname second author, year published, three or more surname of first author and ETAL, year published, surname and ETAL. Year published, direct quotation same ways but necessary to add quotation marks and page numbers. Evident to this module is the use of in-text citation even at the discussion paragraphs. Now you are going to practice what you have learned at the next pages.
answer for this. This I think is taken from relevant literature. Take note of the vital source elements such as author, author surname, surnames, year of publication, and page number or numbers. Then, inciting related literature using standard style, the following ways are followed. Paraphrased statements, directly coded statements, narrative citation, parenthetical citation. Recall the literature that you selected that are related to your topic. Complete the blanks based on the knowledge that you have gained from previous activities. Do not forget to indicate the type of citation format prior to writing your statement. Refer to the example provided to aid you. On the assessment part, we use of quizzes. First activity was the let's try this, jumbled letters. Question behavior was immediate feedback. It was simple, hence there was no problem. Next, we have the analysis of the first activity. 
chat's guide questions. It utilized deferred feedback. Whereas, the faculty in charge must manually check the essays. Third, let's do this. Sightright. Word of caution in the use of autograde or immediate feedback. You might need to regrade or switch to deferred feedback to prevent negative student feedback. In this case, the student teacher got zero despite being correct due to the complexity of the nature of the answer. Fourth, let's test ourselves. A contextualized sight right activity. It utilizes manual checking for deferred feedback. Due to the highly var variable nature of the answers, it is highly recommended to use essay question type and deferred feedback question behavior. Congratulations, we have reached the end of our module. Hopefully, you can start listing your citations for your research paper. Should you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask your parent or contact your teacher. The flow of the lesson was well planned. However, in the evaluation part, I cannot access item number one. In this course, I observed that the teacher did not include a timer in the quiz or activities. It is helpful for the learner to think and not to be pressured by the time. Also, adding a timer is not quite good, especially if the internet connection is unstable. The learner will run out of time and might not finish the task. The audiovisual aspect of the course, it is worth noting that the teacher did not include pictures and videos in his presentations.
but instead he provided audio recordings which have lesser data consumption compared to the pictures and videos. Thus, this makes the course mobile data friendly. Badges awarded to motivate learners to complete the module and receive a high mark around 90% in the graded and recorded exercises. We have the completer, fast hands, and master badges. Feedback form. It is not graded and is placed in the LMS for quality assurance purposes. Future direction. In Odell, learner support is important. Learn strategies using more accessible options like social media, for example, Facebook and Messenger, since it has a quicker capacity in its servers. It is less susceptible to website crashes. Also, whitelisted when using the free data mode. Just like the LIS, the LMS servers work best during off times like beyond office hours. Hence, it is best to leave the LMS with the most essential academic functions only. FICs need to be guided by social constructivism in the early stages of this transition to aid in ensuring that the student is sufficiently knowledgeable and skilled in using the LMS. Hopefully, we can transition towards cognitive or cognitive behaviorist and discovery learning since Odell becomes more effective and efficient if students are independent learners. Parting words. Indicate in your course and assignment guides that contacting faculty in charge must be limited to weekdays and work hours, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Set your boundaries also because we are also putting out fires in our homes and personal lives. We need to recover psychosocially since along with the pandemic, we are also in the midst of a mental health crisis. Let us see each other virtually or physically, but covered with face masks and face shields. Disinfect always and stay safe. Due to the conflict in the schedules, pardon me and kindly drop your questions at my email address davidjonathan.valdez at depet.gov.th Yes, once again, thank you very much, Sir David Jonathan M. Valdez for the applied subject. Okay, now today to join us live on screen, you would like to request our IT team to please add Sir David Jonathan and Valdez on screen. Good morning. Okay. Hi, sir. Good morning. No. Okay. Yes, so before any questions, sir, would you like to uh, tell us more about your presentation or if you would like to add more okay okay thank you for the chance um actually the presentation is more on uh, and then not more but it's actually a synchronous uh teaching or an approach because we have to i mean the context of cluster six most of the schools are uh, interconnection students are not uh, Stable internet connection in the house of Bennett Open. Low data consumption at the uh, target. Then uh, also, uh, it's more on uh, the future direction. Hopefully, we can achieve uh, and it's not yung approach. Then one day, if ever that this pandemic will persist, uh, for the flexibility of everyone. And I, may I share also uh, my screen? Yes, sir, sure. Because uh, my course, I uh, made it publicly available uh, so teachers and other people could access it 
through the ELMS. Don't, I don't need to manually enroll you. Pwede po tayong uh, mag-guest mag enrollment or guest opening. Pwede guest access or you can enroll as a student, so self-enrollment. I'm not very sure kung ano yung next steps, but they have made it open. So hopefully po, uh, just faster, baka pwede po natin ma-access ito. If you want to further explore uh, the, the course, okay, synchronous type. Okay, yun lang po. Hi, ano pala? Uh, shout out na po sa aming school head, Sir Peter Dekayanom, uh, all of the teachers. Uh, of the Polo National High School. Uh, my student teacher, actually, uh, my teacher student rather is Miss Mary Moore Guardaki Bilma. My sister is a little bit switching. So, okay, pa, any questions? Actually, let's wait for the party team to catch up the questions from our teacher participants. Yes, and uh, while waiting, again, Sir David, if they have uh, questions, they can send their questions or queries to, if I am uh, right, davidjonathan.valdez at deped.gov.ph. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah. especially for those who are our senior high school teachers, of course, in practical research. Yes, we have our uh, shout outs, Mampin. Okay, from Ma'am Ruby Castillo Mudas. Congrats, sir. Please, what's this? Please, David Jonathan Valdez. Okay, congrats, sir. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. I hope we have questions later on para naman po. Mas maklarify pa po yung uh, mga cloud of doubt ika uh, ng ating mga senior high school teachers. Okay, one well, from um, Karen and Visaya. This, this is actually not a question, but a form of a congratulatory message. The hot Sir David, congratulations from Desika. I do agree with Mom Karen. Actually, sir, I like the part that you have highlighted the key terms before introducing the lesson. Yeah, in the same virtual learning environment or virtual classrooms, it's really a big help to our students if the area or the material or the platform itself has all the information that they need, even without the presence of their teacher, especially to those or for those students who have no access to a stable internet connection, this one is really a big help. And also, sir, the reward system, the badges, that's really good. Same with the other webinars that we have attended. We're actually uh, motivated when we receive badges, right? Aside from the, the uh, fulfillment that we feel after every webinar, the badges itself would really just give us the happiness and explainable. So that's it. That's right. Yes, not a question, Mantin, but another shout out from, uh, I'm not sure, I think Sir CJ from Sona. Congrats, Sir David Jonathan Valdez, with a heart. Go, Bessie Pana. Hi. <laughs> and I would like to add, Mampin, aside uh, from the specifications of the terms, nagustuhan ko rin po yung uh, feedback part. No? We have to practice, not just ourselves, but we also have to uh, tell our students or remind our students to use the feedback format. Para naman mas maging maayos, mas maging klaro, at mas maging magaling pa ang ating mga senior high school teachers. Ayan. Any comments from our uh, viewers? Meron pa ba, Ma'am Tim? Mm -hmm. Ayan, from, uh, from Ma'am Blaine Gams, rooting for you, Sir David. Yahoo? Mag-apit sa Yahoo kasi na. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mag-apit sa Yahoo kasi na. Okay. Ayan, from Korea ng Dabawenya. Parang familiar ito si Ma'am Korea ng Dabawenya. Congrats to David. Thank you. I think that's an emoji. Ma'am, Carmi Obo, Sir David. 
Congrats for David Jonathan. Ayun, ang daming fans ni Sir David. Oo nga. So, Sir, like, hindi ka lang sila nag-aabang para sa iyong uh, simulation. <laughs> um, I last think that we, maybe it's better to use uh, the um, interface ko kasi is simple. I use pala po ng um, page uh, type of activity or resource being added instead of the lesson plan. I'm not sure, maybe it's fixed now, but on my experience, na crash po kasi siya. So yung whole lesson, if you could recall, yun na po, medyo mahaba, na parang foreigner sounding na, na narration that was uh, auto-read, which is actually auto-read uh, using Microsoft Edge. So pag naka-PDF po, pwede pala hindi pa auto-read, especially pag kahol na po sa oras. Kaso yun na po, medyo slang siya, at contextualized for our uh, location, baka magulat sila yung pag-pronounce ng certain words are going to be different kasi what the machine would be doing word for word. So yun po, also sa quizzes, so yun lang po. My, my times, we could use immediate feedback, but there are times we have to manually check the outputs of our students because hindi kaya hindi match ng uh, ating system um, terms all of the time correctly. So sayang naman po kung hindi kaya dito ang feedback ng students. Okay. Monty, my personal question lang po ako for uh, Sir David. Sir, um, correct me if I'm wrong, do we only uh, get to use the auto voice or auto read from Microsoft Word or meron din po ba ito sa Microsoft PowerPoint? On PowerPoint, uh, actually parang manual po siya, but it's more Microsoft Edge po yung for auto read. Um, Pag naka-PDF file na po siya, but most of those, except for the lesson, I recorded it manually uh, to personalize. Kasi nga po, pagdating ng lesson, medyo mahaba-haba kasi and ingay na ng environment. So we have to um, adapt if ever, if we need to deliver the lesson. So ganun po, kasi according to Chancellor Bangalai of UPOU, if, uh, if your materials, no matter how good they are created, if it cannot reach the student one time, it will be useless. So, so yun po. Ay, that light. <laughs> I also appreciate, sir, that the type of method that you use is not actually just one side, but even if um, there is no presence of the teacher, because you've left your like contacts or email address for the students to air out their concerns right? anytime that they're most That's right, Nancy, especially that uh, the subject is practical research. Ano? Kailangan talaga natin ng feedback. Kailangan ng feedback ng students for them to be able to update or modify their work right away. Sure. For sir, yes. Personally, sir uh, David, Ano po ba ang pinaka-challenging na part po sa delivery of instruction with practical research to be specific? Yes, sir. Uh, and I would like to add, sir, sa question, uh, para isa na lang po yung answer. Uh, the advantages po, sir, and the setbacks that you have um, somehow realized after the, your first hand experience on virtual classrooms. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. First, on the subject, it's really going to be very difficult because it's a very, ano kasi siya, yung one hour in the classroom, even in the face-to-face, -face, it's not enough to deliver the lesson and even the students to deliver the output. So what happens is that outside of the conference of the classroom, the student would still have to research, would have to continuously gather data. So yun po yung mahirap and uh, also, in the part of the faculty member, hindi po kasi tayo tinuruan. <laughs> we came from the generation, uh, research is just like something that is given, then you have to do it. Uh, so that's also difficult, especially for uh, non-education graduates. So yun po yung, ano, paano natin ibababat sa level ng students. That's why we are, uh, in a way, Mm, blessing siguro in disguise, pero it's very difficult. We are having these deaths and ailments na during the COVID pandemic. But now uh, we are having this uh, self directed learning modules in research under the leadership of Dr. Elsie Gagabe, of which uh, hopefully hindi ko pa turn ngayon to present. Pero uh, we have 
material and those materials are already as much as possible to be pinapahan natin sa level that the student could understand at the same time the student could deliver what is uh, expected of them kahit mahirap yung subject. So late it lang because this is going to be a lifelong skill that we are, they are going to be able to utilize. Uh, next for the LMS, siguro pag sa, I'm a for uh, uploading, syempre yung na for it works on off times. Even the recording, even the ano, it was done. Uh, naabutan ng so, magaling araw kasi ito po. Kasi po, hindi siya nag-load kayo po yun ang mahirap sa asynchronous, asynchronous teaching rather. Kasi po yung feeds natin, video feeds. Uh, another thing is that yung uploading, pag naputol yan, pwede wala. So yung recordings actually have to, have to be done several times to be, to be, for it to be successfully uploaded. So I think LMS, hindi naman natin ma-blame fully ang back-end ano, teams natin from national because uh, biglaan din. So everybody is adjusting, everybody is trying their best. So, so in terms of yung, uh, learner support is going to be very important back-end before pa lang sila makarating sa LMS. So that's going to be a very big challenge to our faculty members and us. I have the members and the students and all of the members of the community and another thing sa LMS, ang gamit-gamit pagpipilian. So let's start simple na lang muna with quiz, uh, page, ano pa bang ilang? Yeah, uh, mostly those two because of the other materials, it's good, especially when interactive. However, there are times that the internet connection natin is not that strong enough it might not load. So, the student baka mag-frustrate siya kasi hindi siya makapag-comply na kanyang uh, thing that he or she has to do. And yung rendering ng video, so, lima hanggang anim na beses po yan nangyari because uh, differences in the ratio, minsan putol, minsan maliit. So, we have to render yung 1080p na resolution as much as possible na clear siya. Happy ako na naging clear. Pero yun lang po, matagal siya ni-upload. So it's going to be a very big challenge to all of our faculty members right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So somehow your method has dramatically, positively changed the way of teachers to present their lessons. Actually, your presentation, sir, it's actually a big help not just to our practical research teachers, but to all teachers, senior high school teachers specifically, to all um, in your Okay, so thank you so much for that one, sir. And so, the challenges, ma'am, I know is uh, more on the preparation part and the planning part. But after that one, siguro mas beneficial siya on both, I mean, to both parties, the student and the teachers. Right, ma'am, thing. Ika nga ni uh, Dr. Basma na ay kanina. We are all beginners in this new normal. And it's, it's not a bad thing. Thing to ask so you always have to ask do not be afraid to ask because again this this is a new beginning a new normal for all the teachers and most especially our students yes that's it every day we really need to learn learn and learn truly thank you so much sir valdez so long as you been before we end this um, simulation for the our second simulator i would like to share this with you sir and with our viewers and with our with my co-host so long as you are green you grow but when you think you're right then you begin to get corrupted right motivation is what gets you started habit i believe sir it has this habit to read your word learn every day habit is what keeps you going as they say make learning a habit to all our teacher participants that's right, Ma'am Pin. And speaking of habits, one last question na lang po for uh, Sir David. What are the best practices po that you can share, especially yes, to the senior high school teachers on uh, practical research, most specifically, mm -hmm. Sir, like you? Best practice. Um, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> let's try... Uh, let's accept what the students can give. Ganun nila siguro. So, uh, di ba, we already have the belts. So, we can uh, reduce na natin yung competencies that are one of them. But also, at the same time, in terms of the delivery of the students, maybe we have to accept na kung ano yung kaya lang muna nila, especially right now. These students are also not feeling well psychosocially, uh, most, uh, psychosocially. Um, even us. So, 
kung anong kaya nating ma mabigay anong kaya mabigay ng students and as much as possible din we are not becoming diploma mills or uh, direction na tayo bigay. We are still having standards, but we are just adjusting it a little bit. Every one of us, are, we need to adjust a little bit in terms of the goals and uh, requirements that we are giving because no matter how difficult the subject is, what is more important is the student will be able to deliver and carry that, uh, carry that skill along with him or her later on in life. So, uh, kung pwede, kunti pang pasensya, extend, extend your patience, extend your, your and then the standards also, please, huwag tayo masyadong mag, magalit sa ano, output ng students, even in the deadlines. As much as possible, please be flexible, please, even the bullets, please po, hanggang <laughs> sa pataas, hanggang national, please po. <laughs> So that's it, I guess, future participants, Sir um, Valdez, already have highlighted the factors that we need to take into consideration when using virtual classrooms and when teaching practical research. I would just like to read this one, sir, a comment from Ma'am Maria Caroline or Caroline Antipala. Well explained, Sir David. Proud here. Hi, Ma'am Ayla. Ayan. po, Ma'am Caroline. Okay, so... We have another one, Ma'am Anne. Yes, we have another one, Ma'am Tin, from uh, Ma'am Jackie Almadate. Hello, Sir David Jonathan Valdez. Para ang daming fans talaga ni Sir David. Ang daming fans Sir. Like, ang daming fans. Ang daming fans. Oo, so, kang galing ko siya ng presentation. Kaya siguro, ang daming nagpapasakas. Another one, Ma'am Tin? Okay, from Sir Daniel O. Sabiliano. Thank you for, sh for sharing... For your sharing, sir, DJF. DJF. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think that's all. Meron pa bang ibang mga questions or questions from our viewers? Yes, meron pa. Last one from, again, si Ma'am Team, si Sir D Daniel O. Sevillano. Shout yeah. out sa mga guapa and witty hosts. Buyag. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much, sir. We are um, inconceivably grateful of your presence and of your um, simulation this morning. So, time check. It's already 11.24, yes, um, so you know that you are all now unimaginably famished, but before we formally declare a lunch break, we would just like to share, um, we would just like to thank you, our teacher participants, for faithfully viewing and tuning in to our four-day cluster six training of trainers on learning management system. And Mampin, as we conclude our uh, morning session, let us leave you with a video presentation of Mintal Comprehensive High School National Dry Run on Implementation of Distance Learning Delivery Modalities for the Formal Education. Okay, so we will start the video presentation in five, four, three, two, one. As alarm bells began to sound on the ground, the government has established a multi-sectoral global task force to support the country in terms of response and coping measures. Never before have so many children been out of school at the same time, disrupting learning and overturning lives, especially the most vulnerable and marginalized. But as the country grapples with COVID-19, the Department of Education vowed that it will continue to ensure quality education through the Learning Continuity Plan. With this, Mintel Comprehensive High School supports Department of Education and its call for quality education amidst COVID-19 pandemic. MCHS for 26 long years has undergone massive improvements in terms of its physical and human resources. Physical developments have significantly contributed to the improvements of the school services, not to mention the school programs which have honed every learner's talents and skills. MCHS is an ISO certified institution which is known with its programs. Project ICE team in partnership with Facet Forward from Israel. Contextualized STE. 
alternative learning system, involvement of SPAD students to school activities, equal opportunity for Muslim learners and indigenous people, special program in foreign language for Spanish, Nihongo, Mandarin, and Korean, senior high school offerings such as ABM, HUMES, STEM, HE, ICT, and EIM, all anchored to DEPED's inclusive education. Also, evident physical developments were attained through the aid of the stakeholders and PDA making it ready for the new normal. Installation of closed-circuit television cameras, electronic feedback mechanism through tablets, 21st century classroom with smart board, radio frequency identification scanner for the learner's ID, acquisition of essential items for the new normal such as alcohol or sanitizers, food bath, surgical gloves, surgical masks, hygiene kits, thermal scanners. With all these programs and physical resources, MCHS still needs the support of its stakeholders and community, especially that in the latest survey conducted by the school, it revealed the needs to be resolved. May we present to you the result of the survey in accordance with the learning continuity plan of the Department of Education. School latest profile according to DEPED Learning Continuity Plan template. Currently, the school has 108 teachers, 86 teachers for junior high school and 22 teachers for senior high school. And part of the school's force are the nine non-teaching personnel. Out of 108 teachers of MCHS, 101 or 94% has laptops or desktop units at home. 53 or 49% has internet connection. 83 or 77% has smartphones or tablets. 4 or 4% 4 undergone training on digital training. And 76 or 70% has ideas on how to use teaching and learning online platforms. Out of the 2,535 learners and parents who responded to the survey, 77 or 3% are learners with special needs. For the employment status of the parents, 887 or 35% with full-time job, 380 or 15% with the part-time job, 557 or 22% is self-employed, 304 or 12% is unemployed due to community quarantine, 407 or 16% has no job or unemployed. How does your child go to school? 406 or 16% walking. 1,875 or 74% public commute, 254 or 10% family-owned vehicle. What devices are available at home that the learner can use for learning? 380 or 15% cable TV, 811 or 32% non-cable TV, 1,039 or 41% basic cell phone, 1,673 or 66% smartphone. 202 or 8% tablet, 507 or 20% radio, 228 or 9% desktop computer, and 481 or 19% laptop. Do you have a way to connect to the internet? 836 or 33% answered yes. 1,699 or 67% answered none. What distance learning modalities do you prefer for your child? 1,139 or 41% online learning, 481 or 19% television, 202 or 8% radio, 2,178 or 82% modular learning, and 177 or 7% only prefer the combination of face-to-face -face with other modalities. What are the learning modalities for school year 2020 to 2021? First, face-to-face -face modality. This refers to a learning delivery modality where the students and the teacher are both physically present in the classroom. This modality must secure social distancing with only 15 students in the classroom. This is only applicable to communities declared as safe, very low or no risk containment by IATF or city government. Second, home-based modality. This is categorized into two, online and modular. 
The home-based online modality is an approach in which students will have their studies at home using the following gadgets. Laptop, desktop computer, and tablet or smartphone with internet connectivity. The home-based modular modality is an approach in which students will have their studies at home using printed materials or what we call self-paced modules. Lastly, blended learning modality. This refers to a learning delivery that combines face-to-face -face with any of a mix of online learning, modular distance learning, and TV or radio-based instruction. This time, we will be presenting you the proposed scheduling of MCHS. When face-to-face -face learning will not be allowed, the schedule for the distance learning, modular, and online learning will be assigned in certain days of the five-day class week. When face-to-face -face will be allowed, the schedule for the blended learning of each grade level will be as follows. Grade 7 will report to school on Mondays. Grade 8 will report to school on Tuesdays. Grade 9 will report to school on Wednesdays. Grade 10 will report to school on Thursdays and Grade 11 and 12 will report to school on Fridays. The other four days will be for modular and online distance learning. Assessment and Giving Feedback the presence of COVID-19 necessitates MCHS to develop alternative approaches to deliver critical feedback function of learning assessment. Assessment method. Objective test. Short answer test. Extended answer test like essays. Practical tests. Situational assessment or skills assessment. Assignments and projects and presentation and oral assessment. Lastly, portfolios. Assessment plan. Outcome based with student and student constructed. Modified IS scheme, student weighing of assignment or multiple assignment. Objective test, knowledge and comprehension level objectives. Projects and portfolios with rubrics, analysis or application level objectives. Administer formative assessment using synchronous and asynchronous forms. Giving of feedback through online messaging platforms. Teacher readiness to online or digital learning. Aside from the fact that MCHS actively participates to different webinars, particularly those initiated by DEPED OER Tech Unit and DEPED Region 11, the school is set to conduct its capacity building for teachers on online and modular learning platforms. <music>
traditional one. And I know that we dare to really be on our toes because we are also being uh, supported from the central office with the first webinars that the teachers experience down to the regional office thanks to our RD Tetalbero, PRD Asuncion, and the rest of the Region 11 team who give us those uh, wonderful experience would help to our teachers to get into the, this online teaching. And we would like also to thank our division superintendent, Dr. Juliana, with our ASTSS, Dr. Campo Redondo, and Dr. Basmanaay, with our ex and our SGO chief, Ma'am Navalie, and our CIT chief, Dr. Sipra, because they are really give us this encouragement to really explore more on the modalities. So with our cluster six, uh, cluster head, uh, Dr. John Galan, with our strong stakeholders, our Mintal Council, Barangay Mintal Council, with our parents, and with the blazing passion of teachers. I know, guys, still the orchestra. And so, together with Vital Comprehensive High School, we will dare to break on with this new normal of the Philippine education. I am Jemar Parlatar, Junior High School Mapi teacher with Vital Comprehensive High School. Dance of preparations are indeed experienced by all teachers in the Philippines. It might be extra challenging for public school setup since preparation is equally related to money, resources, time, and effort. As teacher, I engage myself to webinars and intend to apply the most practical strategy to teach in the new normal setup. Preparing lesson plans and for it to most essential learning competency are also known as MEL is one of the crucial, aside from the fact that we need to have new normal tools in teaching such as noise cancelling headset, good camera, and a functional laptop or desktop computer for some. This pandemic is surely a challenge, but this is just one of the challenges that we will get through with divine confidence. It was on the 1st of June that marked the new normal beginning for school year 2020 to 2021. Previous learners and incoming learners of MCHS are given the freedom to choose an appropriate learning modality to continue education despite COVID-19 pandemic. MCHS, together with its stakeholders, favors distance learning modality in adherence to DepEd's call to continue education in the safest, practical, and efficient learning to our learners. Distance learning modality covers the best of two modular and online instruction. Based on enrollment survey results, modular and online are the winning preferences of MCH's parents and learners. With this, may we present to you the MCH's way on modular learning modality. On modular learning, department heads will download and will secure copies of self-directed modules to be distributed to class advisors. Class advisors will receive printed copies of self-directed modules that will be recorded in their SF4. Learners, parents, and guardians will get the copies of self-directed modules following the health protocol. Learners, parents, and guardians will be informed by the class advisors on designated schedule of module distribution and retrieval. The return modules will be checked and recorded weekly by subject teachers.
Modular Learning Preparedness, MCHS has continued to weigh better possibilities for the safety of everybody, for our learners, teachers, parents, and greater community. As a result, MCHS and its stakeholders promotes online learning. Ako si Leonora Malod, ina ni Cresa Vibora na nakaag-aaral sa mental comprehensive. Bilang isang magulang, susuporta ako sa, dito lang sa bahay ang pag-aaral ngayon dahil makita ko ang aking anak, masasuportahan ko, matutukan ko ang kanyang pag-aaral. Yun lang, kailangan ng internet connection or internet access. Pero susuporta ako. Hanapan ko ng paraan para lang ma ma pagpatuloy ang kanyang pag-aaral at sa tulong ng kanyang mga guro. So, support ako bilang isang magulang. Uh, Mental Comprehensive High School offering online lessons uh, during uh, the pandemic or during this COVID-19 crisis is a very welcome news. Uh, Mental Comprehensive High School is one of the very few public schools uh, who have made preparations and uh, who's doing, or who, uh, the teachers, everyone involved um, is doing what they can uh, to offer different options, many, uh, at least three options uh, uh, to our students. But offering an online uh, learning uh, platform for the students, uh, I'm very comfortable with it because uh, I think most parents are very concerned now with it's the possible exposure of their children to the virus you know from from many people if, if example there was no online learning platform if there's only modular then uh, the students will still have to go somewhere ride a jeep or maybe ride a bicycle and then expose themselves to, 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 to the virus or to other people but being in the in the safety of of one's home uh, seeing that your uh, that your child or children uh, are are focused you know, on their laptops, listening to their teacher, and you can monitor them. And then when they are hungry, even if it's not recess time in the schedule, you can give them snacks or water. You know, and you can, you can make the experience a pretty comfortable and uh, a conducive experience. Uh, as a parent, that is a very welcome news. So the number one issue for most parents now is, again, safety. You know, we want to survive. We want to get through this pandemic in the best possible way and again just because there is a pandemic uh, it does not mean that everything has to stop uh, education is an everyday process and um, again mental comprehensive high school offering online lessons is is a truly great news for all parents uh, here in Mintal. and even though for those parents uh from far away or from other barangays who chose to or who have made the decision to enroll their children in uh, Mental Comprehensive High School. So it does not only offer safety, but it also um, offers opportunities for students from other barangays, even from far barangays, uh, to, to experience the Mental Comprehensive High School uh, way of learning uh, because of the online platform. So Mental Comprehensive High School, thank you for, uh, for this great uh, plan for this uh, great vision that uh, you've materialized. Uh, this will help a lot of families. This will allow a lot of students to experience uh, and know the reason why uh, Mental Comprehensive High School is uh, um, why it is one of the, if I may, for the lack of word and my apologies for the lack of word, one of the big names uh, in, uh, in giving education. Um, uh, to our Korean learners. So thank you very much. Uh, do great. And uh, please never tire of thinking of great ways, remarkable ways um, to educate and to impart learning to our students. On online learning, subject teachers will download an electronic copy of the self-directed module. Subject teachers will conduct parent learning virtual orientation. Learners will receive an electronic copy of the self-directed module. Subject teachers will craft a lesson presentation out from the module. Subject teachers will utilize the learning management system to supplement interactive quizzes and assignments done by the learners. Subject teachers will have a recorded copy of their presentation so that learners can revisit the lesson at his most convenient time.
Magandang umaga sa lahat. Magandang umaga Magandang po. Uma- Magandang po. Well, again, welcome sa ating unang klase para sa taong 2020 at 2021. At kung hindi ako nagkakamali, uh, kayo yung mga magiging mga 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 Unang layunin, nahihinuha ang kaugalian at kalagayang panlipunan ng lugar ng lutong bayan batay sa mga pangyayari at usap- usapan ng mga tauhan. Okay, magaling. How about um, Jemar? Maaari mo bang basahin ay kalawa nating layunin para sa lingkong ito? Nagagamit ng wasto ang mga pahayag sa pagbibigay ng mga patunay. Okay, maraming salamat. Sige, ang sandali lang ha. Isishare ko muna yung screen ko para sa, in- para sa inyo. Ayan. So, floor, ang, ta- ang pangalan o ang uh, pamagat ng larong ito, alam ko, sigu- uh, alam niyo na siguro yung um, pang- um, pamagat nito. Ang pamagat nito ay four picks, one word. So, yung, tingin, uh, so yung palagay floor, ang magaling ka ba sa larong ito? Siguro. Siguro, okay. So, anong level ka na dun sa four picks, one word mo sa, an- sa phone mo? 200 ah, hindi ko na maalala. Ah, hindi mo na maalala sa sa kagrabe nito. Okay, magaling, magaling. Okay, ngayon, uh, bibigyan kita ng pagkakataon para sagutin ng mga na, nasabing puzzles at kung makukuha mo ito, ay congratulations yung ibibigay ko sa inyo. Okay? Okay. Yes, po. Good. So magsimula tayo sa una nating puzzle and 3 2 1 go. Ano kaya yung sagot para dyan? Bana. Tingnan natin kung tama ba. Tama ba? Very good. Congratulations. Ang tamang sagot para dito ay bana. Well, paano mo nasabi o ano yung uh, sabihin natin nagpatrigger sa'yo o nagpabigay ng hinuha sa'yo na yung uh, tinutukoy dito ay ang bana? Ah. Uh. Itong litrato ng isang lalaki na may karga na isang bata. Oh, eto. Sige, sige. Magaling, magaling. Ngayon, punta tayo sa susunod na puzzle. Ano kaya yung uh, salitang uh, pinapakula dito sa susunod na puzzle? Asawa. Hmm? Sure. Wala nang bawian yes, at tingnan natin kung tama yung sagot mo. Tamang sagot ay, very good. Congratulations. Ang tamang sagot para rito ay asawa. At kung mapapansin mo, yung mga salitang nandito sa ating 4 picks, one word ay may uh, koneksyon o ugnayan sa ating tatalakayang um, pab- uh, pabula o kwentong bayan sa uh, hapong ito. I- I- ito ay ang mga kwento nagmula sa bawat pook na nag- lalahad na lalahad ng katangi-tanging salaysay ng kanilang lugar. Okay, maraming salamat. Uh, Crystal, may mga gusto ko bang idagdag? Ang mga kwentong bayan po um, ang sa mga karanasan ng mga tao um, sa mga um, karanasan nila at nag um, ito yung Refleksyon, refleksyon ng kanilang kultura din po. Okay, maraming salamat. Okay, maraming salamat. Ngayon, Jemar, sabi ni Crystal kanina, ito'y parang um, sabihin natin salamin ng kanilang kultura. So, masasabi natin talagang yung mata talaga mga story ito. Pero, paano kaya nila um, um, sabihin natin na pepeserba ang mga kwentong katulad nito? May ideya ka ba, Jemar? Ano po yun, sir? Um, Sige po masyadong marinig po, pasensya po. Sige po. Um, ang uh, ulitin ko, ah, ano yung kaya yung pamamaraan ng mga sinaunang tao upang mapreserva nila yung mga kwentong bayan hanggang ngayon ay buhay pa? Sa pamamagitan po ng paggamit po nito araw-araw mm-hmm. or yun po. Okay, marami salamat. At dagdag din dyan, pinapasa yan mula sa isang henerasyon patungo sa isang pang henerasyon. Kaya uh, kaya lang ito ay nagdaragdagan o nababawasan kasi na uh, 
ma- marami-rami rin versyon ng mga nasabing bentong bayan, katulad ni Rajika. Okay? Uh, Floor, mara mo bang i-share screen yung uh, pag na-navigate mo yung ngayon sa uh, inyong LMS? Okay, good. Ayan. So, ang gagawin mo first, uh, i-click mo yung subukin natin na nasa ilalim ng tab na lunes. Tapos, scroll down. Okay. Pindutin mo yung re-attempt quiz. Okay. Start attempt. Again, kung makikita mo dyan, bibigyan ka ng limang minuto. Sagutin mo ang uh, nasabing quiz. Kumare. Okay, good. Sure ka na? Okay, yan. Next page na. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, pindutin mo yung submit all and finish. Okay, pwede mo nang ibalik dito sa screen natin. And uh, kung, napapansin, uh, kung napansin natin, wow, very good. Uh, congratulations, my perfect score ka. Talagang nag-aaral ka talaga eh, from, every time, uh, from every now and then. Good. Okay, um, Floor, maaari, bang mag, uh, maaari ka bang magbigay ng um, maikling buod? hinggil sa nangyari sa kwentong bayang ang munting ibon. Yes po. Mm, okay. Uh, si Loki ang babay at Loki ang mamay ay uh, mag-asawa at ang kanilang pangkabuhayan ay bilang isang mga ngaso. Isang araw ng uh, naglagay sila ng bitag sa kagubatan at Naglagay sila ng bitag sa kagubatan at hinayaan nila ito ng isang araw. At nang pumunta si Loki Amamay, bumalik siya doon ay naking gulat niya na ang nahuli lang niya ay isang maliit na ibon at ang nahuli ni Loki Ababay, Ababay ay isang mataba at malusog na usa. Kaya noon, pinagpalit niya ito at bumalik sa kanilang bahay. At kina, kinaumagahan, uh, kinaumagahan uh, tinawag niya si Loki Ababay para puntahan at tingnan kung ano ang kanilang mga nahuli at laking gulat din ni Loki Ababay na ang kanyang nahuli lang ay isang maliit na ibon at ang nahuli ni Loki Amamay ay isang mataba at malusog na usa. At ang usang nahuli ni Loki Am- uh, Amamay ay kanya lamang sinolo at hindi niya binigyan ng kanyang asawa. Uh, alam nung makaraan ng ilang araw, alam ito ni nalaman ito ni Loki Ababay kaya Pinagpasyahan na, na hindi na sumama sa pagtingin ng uh, kanilang mga nahuli. At yung na, isang araw ay nanaginip siya na pinakain niya ng trigo ang kanyang munting ibo na nahuli at nangitlog ito ng ginto. At yun ay nagkatotoo rin kaya na Uh, nakapag siya na iwanan si Loki ang mamay at magsimula ng bagong buhay. At nung malaman ni Loki ang mamay na ang naging buhay ni, ni Loki ababay na nakapagpatayo siya ng isang malaking palasyo ay uh, sinugbukan niyang pumunta at makipagbalikan dito. Ngunit alam ito ni Loki ababay kaya sinabihan niya ang kanyang mga tauhan at wadya na wag na wag papasuk 
papapasukin si Loki Ababa, Amamay. Okay, maraming salamat. Congratulations. Ano lang, cl- konting clarification lang. Ang pangalan ng lalaki sa kwento ay Lo- uh, Loki Amama, hindi Mamay. Si Loki Ababa yung babae. Okay? But again, okay. Flor, maraming salamat sa iyong pagbubuol para dito sa ating klase. Okay, ngayon, uh, well, again, sa uh, pera yung sinabi nyo kanina, ang mga karakter na ang mga karakter na yun ay mag-asawa, pero hindi, hindi maganda yung pagkakaugnay nila kasi nga yung lalaki o yung bana medyo ganit o uh, medyo mapangkamkam. Ngayon, uh, Jemar, kung ikaw yung pagbibigyan ng pagkakataon, papaguhin mo ba yung uh, sabihin natin, huling bahagi ng kwento? Bibigyan mo ba yung happy ending? Opo, sir. Hmm, bakit? Bibigyan bakit? Um, gusto ko po sana yung yung ending is mapapatawad nung lalaki nung babae po yung lalaki para mm-hmm. magkaroon ho ng happy ending at okay. para magkaroon ho sila ng happy family. Ah, ganun. Yeah. Doon sa LMS ninyo, uh, papakita ko sa inyo ngayon ha, Sandria. Sa loob ng LMS nyo, makikita nyo ito. Dali lang ha. Okay, sa loob ng LMS nyo, um, is, um, particular na sa inyong um, sa kurso ng grade, grade 7 Filipino, makikita nyo ang isang um, tab na pinatawag na sagutin natin. Gusto kong gawin nyo, i-click nyo ang link na ito o i-click nyo ang tab na ito at sa kasagutan ang mga tanong na nasa loob. Uh, bibigyan kayo ng limang minuto ng LMS upang sagutin ito. Okay? Okay, good. May, uh, um, sabihin nyo lang ako o sabihin nyo lang ako kung uh, tapos na kayo. Kasi the earlier the better. Okay? Apo. Apo. Sige. Magsimula na kayo. Okay, very good. Then. Okay, magaling. Then submit all and finish. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, maraming salamat. Pwede mo nang ibalik dito sa atin. Okay, magaling. Ayun, Ayun. Uh, bago tayo magtapos sa ating live session, may mga reflective questions na ako itatanong, okay? Okay, good. Now, Floor, uh, simulan natin sa iyo. Ano yung mga kaugaliang itinatampok sa nasabing kwentong bayan? Isa sa mga kaugali ang pinagtampo, eh, pinagtampo sa kwentong bayang binasa ko ay ang kaugalian ng mga Pilipino sa sinaunang panahon na ang pamumuhay nila bilang isang mga ngaso. Mm, okay, magaling, magaling. Ano pa? How about katangian? Christel, anong klase ng katangian ang ipinapakita? Halimbawa, sabi natin kay Lopez ang mama o yung bana. Ano yung klase ng katangian na ipinapakita niyo? Yung katangiang napakita doon ay negatibo um, mm. ang pagiging makasarili at um, o pagkagamit ng kanyang bana sa kanyang asawa. At isa na din yun ang pagiging madamot po. Okay, maraming salamat. Uh, well, Jemar, uh, may kakilala ka ba na may kaparehong ugali ng bana doon sa kwento? Po, yung kapitbahay po namin, sir. <laughs> Ganun ba? <laughs> Napatunayan mo ba na gano'n yung uh, katangian ng kapitbahay mo? Opo, base po sa mga chismis po. <laughs> sa chismis. Pero again, Opo. mga bata, huwag tayo agad uh, naniniwala sa chismis, ha? Kailangan may patunay tayo bago, ta- bago natin alam nito. At pag nalaman natin na medyo ganito yung ugali ng kakilala natin, o for example, yung kapitbahay mo, Jemar, 
pwede mo siyang sabihan ng maayos para malaman naman niya, okay? At, uh, sir, okay, very good. At kagaya din namin sa ipinahihiwatig ng kwentong ito, kailangan maging mapagbigay tayo. Pero sa mga tamang pagkakataon lamang, may mga pagkakataon na hindi tayo dapat maging mapagbigay. Pero kung maaari, gawin natin ito kung kinakailangan mo kung yung taong yun ay nangangailangan talaga. Nakuha? Awesome. Okay, magaling. Ngayon, uh, bago tayo magtapos, may mga gusto ba kayong itanong? Wala po. Okay, wala, wala na. Wala na. How about ikaw, Christel? May itatanong ka pa ba? Wala po. Okay, maraming salamat. Ngayon, um, manalangin tayo para sa ating pampinid na bahagi ng ating live session, okay? Alam na. Talang. NCHS is online learning ready. We thought comprehensive will remain unstoppable, not because it did not experience challenges and doubts, but because it continued despite them. Therefore, it is the courage to continue and explore possibilities that count. Thank you.